Today I'm gonna be giving Famous Logos Thanksgiving redesigns. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tylee Talk. And on this channel, I design, redesign, critique, do all kinds of fun stuff with logos. So if you're into graphic design, then definitely hit that subscribe button. So this is a series I've done on my channel now for the past two Halloweens. And I also am planning on doing it for Christmas, but basically I take a logo and I make it some kind of pun that goes with whatever holiday I'm doing it with. So for Thanksgiving, a lot of these puns are gonna be fall themed, autumn, turkey, kind of like can go in the feast slash dinner direction as well. And I basically came up with a lot of these just asking my mom, my friends, people on live, some ideas that they had for puns and then making the ones that I thought could get that Thanksgiving design in there as well as the name change. So a lot of these I am doing on Photoshop, Adobe Illustrator and Procreate on my iPad. And some of them do a mix of all three or just two of them. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so for the first one I'm doing Google and my idea for this one is to rename it Gobble, um, kind of like a turkey. So to do this, I'm basically just gonna go ahead and make the G's be orange instead of blue because the other colors are already kind of Thanksgiving. Then I'm gonna take the L and move it over to this O so I can make two B's with that. Now that I did that, I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can add in that little neck thing of a turkey under the G. What's that called? Oh, it's called a waddle. Okay, I don't know if I like it under the G, but maybe if I put it under the yellow one, then that would work better because the yellow is kind of like a beak. Um, and then what if I put two eyeballs in the O and the B? So it really looked like a turkey. Okay, that looks really good. So now I'm just gonna take this shape that I made and I'm just gonna put it behind the G to kind of give that fan feather effect that you see turkeys have on their tails. So let me just duplicate that and make each one these different colors. And there's the final result. I think this is a great one to start with. I really love the colors and how it kind of didn't really change the logo that much, except instead of Google, it's gobble. And then I think that the slight effect of the turkey is in there without being overtly changing the whole logo to a turkey. Okay, up next is Mr. Beast, which I'm calling Mr. Feast. And my idea for this one is to make that jaguar or big cat, whatever it is, into a turkey instead. So I'm just drawing on these little feathers on the top of his head in Procreate, adding in a bit of a neck there. And then my idea is to, instead of that lightning bolt, have it be the waddle, look like it's like blowing back in the wind. So I'm just gonna add in the colors now. So I'm doing that same pink from the original logo, but then adding in colors of a turkey. So this kind of like lighter pink and brown. And then I'm just gonna go in and add in some shadows underneath the waddle and underneath all the parts that I think need the shadows just to kind of match the same original style as the Mr. Beast original logo. So I'm just gonna add in a slight little highlight onto the waddle, and then I'm gonna start working on the text. So I was gonna see if I could find the font, but then I decided I could really just erase this in Procreate and draw on the F part and make it look like it says Mr. Feast. So I'm just playing around with the tiny little details here, and here's the final result. I honestly think this one came out really, really well. The turkey is a little creepy and maybe a little disturbing, but I don't know, overall I like it. And I think this could definitely be something that YouTubers or other people start changing their logos to in the future, just for the month or kind of week leading up to these holidays. Okay, up next is Minecraft, which this was voted on in the live, but they wanted me to call it Mine Corn. <laughs> and at first I thought that was kind of dumb, but the more that I heard it, the more funny I thought it was. So I decided to go ahead and do it. So here I'm doing it in Photoshop. Basically I duplicated the logo at the top and then I'm just moving down the letters that I need to, to this logo at the bottom. So luckily all the letters for mine corn are basically already in there, except I just kind of had to fabricate the O. And then I just use the skew tool to make the letters fit in there correctly. And I'm using the selection tool to grab the bottom of the T to kind of give that shadow effect that it has without having to recreate it myself. I'm just giving the in a stroke here. I tried it using the stroke tool, but eventually I decided that I need to do it using the 
shape building pen tool in Photoshop. Added in that last highlight uh, shadow in there, made the text a little bit bigger, and I was pretty happy with this one here. So then I decided to change the colors in Photoshop as well, so that then when I put it into Procreate, I can just start drawing on the other elements that I wanted. So I made it yellow and green. I made it green so that I could draw on the, kind of make it look like husks and draw on little leaves at the bottom. So it made it look like the whole Minecraft logo was coming out of one husk of corn, but also maintaining those shadows that the original logo has. So I'm just drawing those on each letter here in Procreate on my iPad. And I really like how this is looking. It, I wasn't sure if it would look like a shadow still, but I think it definitely does. And I'm really happy with this. So now I'm just trying to draw the little individual pieces of corn on the M. I was thinking I might do this for every letter, but as I'm drawing it, it's definitely seeming a little bit too busy. So I decided to get rid of that. And the one that looks the most like a corn cob is the eye. So I think what I'm gonna do is just draw all these little dots on just the eye. And then now I'm gonna draw little bits of yellow on the edges just so that it doesn't look so confined to that rectangle shape. And I think the last thing I need to do is just draw more up top to kind of give the top of it the top of corn shape. So I'm doing that here and then I'm just gonna add on one last really big stroke to the whole thing. And here's that one all complete. Again, I'm not sold on the name Mine Corn by any means, but I do think it looks really cool. I'm glad I went ahead and made one of them look like a realistic corn with the little bits of corn on it. Um, and I'm glad I kept the other parts simpler because I think overall it gives the effect of corn without making it too busy. Okay, up next is NBC, which stands for National Broadcast Company. I'm gonna turn it into NBT for National Broadcast Turkey, <laughs> which again is silly, but the reason I wanted to do it is because it's already a bird logo. So I thought it would just be funny to make that bird be a turkey. So I'm just gonna change each of the colors to these kind of browns and oranges like Thanksgiving. And now I'm gonna add on another waddle to this one as well using the pen tool. And it's kind of hard because the beak of the peacock isn't too big to begin with, but I'm just gonna try in here with the pen tool and see what I can do. Okay, it had to be smaller than I originally thought, but I think it looks pretty good on there. So the last thing I'm gonna do is just add in a T. I actually just ended up using whatever font was already on here, I think Myriad Pro. And when I made it bold, it actually looked perfect for the logo, like the exact same weight and everything. So I'm thinking maybe that's the actual font for NBC. I didn't look it up because I figured I could just find something similar and this worked perfectly. So my last idea was just to add on the color red to this from the waddle and then add on a little part at the bottom that just says turkey, just so you know what that T stands for. And I typed that all out again in that same font, made it red, created outlines, made it a lot smaller and put it right beside the T. And this is that one all done. I'm not sold again on the name NB Turkey, <laughs> but I do really like how the peacock looks as a turkey. And I think honestly, NBC could just change the turkey part and keep the bottom part NBC and use this for their branding during the month of November. Okay, up next is Apple, which I'm just gonna call pumpkin. <laughs> and I'm just gonna make the Apple logo look like a pumpkin. So in Illustrator, luckily when I downloaded it from Google, it was already in an SVG file. So that means I could manipulate everything and not have to create the outlines myself. So I'm just moving all the points over using the selection tool to make it be a little bit fatter because pumpkins are a little bit more rounded than apples. And then instead of the leaf, I wanted to make it a stem. And I thought I could maybe do this kind of realistically, but because the Apple logo is so minimal, I thought the best thing to do would be just to make it a plain old rectangle instead of a stem. I did try to change the corners to make it a little more rounded, but once I zoomed out, I didn't think the roundedness really matched. So I undid that, changed the apple to be uh, orange color and the stem to be green. And here's that one all done. This one does kind of just look like the Apple logo, but a little bit fatter, but I think overall it's pretty effective in changing it from an apple to a pumpkin. Okay, up next is Nike, which I decided to call Turkey without the Y at the end. 
I don't know how I really came to this one, but I was just trying to think of words that turkey sounded like, and then Nike came to mind. So what I'm doing now is just grabbing the outlines of the original Nike logo, as well as just the swoosh. I typed out turkey and I found out that the font is just Futura condensed bold. And I typed out turkey and then I had to make it a little bit smaller just because to make it fit in that area. I also thought I could skew it pretty easily in Illustrator, but I ended up not being able to really find out how to do that. So a little bit later, I'm gonna do that in Photoshop. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and make the actual logo look kind of like a turkey in Illustrator while I'm here. So I'm gonna make the swoosh look like the beak and make it yellow. And my idea for this is to make the long part of the beak or the long part of the swoosh look like a beak. So to do that, I'm gonna add in these little eyes and make kind of like a cartoonish little turkey down here with the two eyes and the two nostrils and then draw on that waddle again with the pen tool. Um, normally it comes down right next to the nostril. So I kind of just drew it in the space that I thought it would look the best. And then I brought that all back into Photoshop so I could do the skew on the actual logo. So to do this, I just brought in the font from Adobe Illustrator into Photoshop. And then once it's in there and I'm happy with the placement of it, I can use the edit transform skew to give it that exact italicized skew effect that the original Nike logo has. So here I'm just manipulating it just a little bit just so that it fits perfectly in there. And here's that one all done. This one's definitely a little bit more unusual as well, just because I don't know that anyone would ever want to put the a turkey face on the Nike logo. I also had the idea that maybe the swoosh could be feathers and make it like a fan, but I felt like that just changed up the integrity of the original logo too much. So all that considered, I do like how this one ended up. Up next is Walmart, which I'm just gonna call Fall Mart. I know that might be a little bit <laughs> of a cop out, but I think it fits along the same Thanksgiving lines as the other ones. So I basically just made the F out and then duplicated the L and I'm gonna make all of that just be orange. And then for this little sunburst, I had the idea to make them look like leaves that had fallen. So like dead fall leaves that are yellow. So I just kind of drew out these leaf shapes around the same area as the sunburst. And then I drew a line in the middle and made the stroke a little bit bigger and made that brown part look like the inside of a leaf. Then I just duplicated that top one and moved it to the bottom. And I was having a little bit of trouble making all these be in the exact location. So I ended up just copying those two, repasting them and then moving it over and then doing the same thing for the other ones. And here's that one all done. This one definitely isn't my favorite, but it is kind of cute. And I could see Walmart doing something like changing the starburst to be some kind of either like feathers or like leaves, or even like for Christmas, they could be little Christmas trees, just changing that shape to be something different for the holidays. All right, and the last one is Best Buy, which I'm gonna call Best Pie. So I started by erasing the buy part on the logo and typing out pie in that font that I found online. And once I was done with the coloring of this and I had this part of the logo, I brought it into Procreate, changed everything to orange. And my idea was to make this look like a slice of pie. I know it's not perfect because it is a square instead of a triangle, but once I drew on all of the pie elements and then got in there changing the colors and I kind of made it look a little bit more rustic, I think it actually does end up looking like a piece of pie. So I'm just drawing in the different color blocking here. Based on the way I did it in Photoshop, there was like some weird lines. So I ended up, instead of being able to fill it, I just had to draw all the colors in. But once I was done with that, here's that one all done. Again, I do really like how this one came out because I do think it looks like a piece of pie. I don't know that this one is necessarily one that Best Buy would ever change to for any reason, but I am happy that I got it to look like a piece of pie just from drawing on the original logo and not manipulating the shape at all. Well, that's all my logos complete for today. I think my favorite ones have got to be the gobble one 
the Mr. Beast. And honestly, they're kind of silly, but NBT, Turkey, and Minecorn all ended up looking really cool in the end, and I'm really happy with them. Well, that's it for today. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know down in the comments which of these Thanksgiving logos was your favorite. And if you have any ideas for Christmas ones coming up, also drop those down there. And I will see you in the next one.